hearings because according to the testimony of a mild two inmate, the food provided for prisoners is not for human consumption. The TRC also had on toes there that prison staff have been depriving inmates good food except on religious occasions. More details of that in this report by our Makalo. The first inmate from the Mile 2 Central Prison to appear before the Truth Reconciliation and Reparations Commission testified on Thursday that the quality of food was among the leading causes of sicknesses among prisoners. Sariba Konde, a Gina Konakri national who is serving a 14-year term jail for theft, sub breaking is expected to leave the cell by the end of his term in about nine months. According to the testimony of Soriba Konde, the food provided for them is not healthy for human consumption. He alleged that the meat catered for inmates by the state was mostly stolen by prison officials. He said prisoners will only consume meat and healthy food during religious occasions like Christmas, Eid or during the month of Ramadan as a result of support from the community. <laughs> Just like uh, these curated prayers, Kanifi Mosque will cook something very good for the, prayer, for the prisoners and they'll bring it and we really, uh, it's something good that day. Also, if... And also for the Tobaski, uh, that the same thing happens. They will cook something very good and bring it. But even that, don't think everything will reach the prisoners. They will steal part of it. Uh, but uh, government mm -hmm. ensures that meat is brought to the prison at least once a week. Why not murgi? Nyom den de gisne. Dinen in the yapa for kuche kaso bilum neu neu ben na yon chibes. Best yapa lati. That meat they are talking about, sometimes it is only intestines or uh, veins or bones. It's something that people will not understand what kind of meat it is. Konde also alleged that some prisoners died of beriberi because they were denied access to medical attention. The problem is to take prisoners and take them to hospital is always a problem for them. They also complain. If you complain, if you, if you go to the clinic or they take you to the clinic, there are clinic there, they will just give you painkillers. You see? Lastly, I have a boy who has a boy who has a boy. Lastly, they were very annoyed with me for that because there was somebody who was having stomach problems. They didn't bring flagging for him. Somebody with a rolling stomach. How can painkillers help that person? And what eventually happened to the, to the person? What eventually happened to the person? Was he ultimately treated? We prisoners there. Some of us keep medications with us there. Some of us have quality medicines in there. If you he explained to the commission that prison officials were negligent which he said was in the name of security. As for them, you die in this prison, it's better for them to escape. Even for, to have their kids die in their compounds, is better for them than a prisoner to escape from the, from the prison. He, he, escapes means that much to them? Ah. Bon, bon, uh, non la len tolo. So they mom, so they mom, lul ke mom, nyungi kontan, ya, understand. When an inmate dies, they are happy about that. Yes. 
need the part there he can do ah can do lo e khalat somebody dies and nothing is done about it what what do they think many is a commune ya gane a commune ni feel go me feel go tan sa ben a de bila just like don't ngen khalat am ngore The Mile 2 Central Prison was opened in 1920 by the British colonial authorities. The prison contains a remand wing where juvenile offenders and other awaiting trials are held, and a security wing which houses high security prisoners including those on death row, political prisoners and other convicted inmates.